When I was a little girl, I was taught the importance and impact of words. In my culture, in Samoa, there's a proverb that goes, e pala ma'a ai le pala upu. It means that even stones decay, but words remain. A lesson in knowing how words can be wielded, how text can change everything, how each word you use is weighted, how switching one word or number could reframe worlds how climate action can be vastly different from climate justice, how two degrees could mean the end and 1.5 could mean a fighting chance. You all have the power here today to be better, to remember that in your meeting rooms and drafting documents are more than just black and white objects, to remember that in your words, you wield the weapons that can save us or sell us out. I don't need to remind you the reality of vulnerable communities. If you're here today, you know what climate change is doing to us. You don't need my pain or my tears to know that we're in a crisis. The real question is whether you have the political will to do the right thing, to wield the right words, and to follow it up with long overdue action. If you're looking for inspiration on this, look no further than the climate leadership of young Pacific people. We are not just victims to this crisis. We have been resilient beacons of hope. Pacific youth have rallied behind the cry, we are not drowning, we are fighting. This is our warrior cry to the world. We are not drowning, we are fighting. This is my message from Earth to COP. I hope you remember my words today and look closely at your words as you go throughout COP because e pala ma'a ai le pala upu. Thank you.